Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 20th day of October 2021, I'd like to welcome you to join me at JM Bullion. But before I do that, I'm going to welcome you to look at this right here while I speak about the auction for tomorrow night. At 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, CGS Coin Tribe will have an auction to benefit charity. And those two charities in this particular auction will be Toys for Tots and purchasing cold weather gear such as blankets, caps, and gloves for regions of the country that may experiencing uh, extreme cold this year and extremely high uh, heating bills. So um, we're definitely going to be looking out for folks that, uh, in that regard this year. Now, over here to JM Bullion, looks like gold is up 855 to 1785.08. Silver's up 17 cents to 2402. Platinum up three dollars sixty nine cents to ten sixty fifty one, and palladium is up eleven dollars thirteen cents to twenty one twenty eight thirty four. Next up now will be coinnews.net, great place to check out articles by a gentleman named Mike Unser, and this one's dated October nineteenth, twenty twenty one, and the title of this article is U.S. Mint Sales twenty twenty one Innovation Proof Set and North Carolina one dollars debut. Um, and this is incredible. I want to show you here. Um, go straight down to the U.S. Mint's weekly top sellers. And um, this is quite incredible, folks. So the number one set, um, I guess the number one position is the 2021 American Innovation Dollar Proof Set, right? And that still hasn't been shipped as far as I know. We paid for it, hasn't shipped. Now, the next one is the 2021 North Carolina American Innovation Dollars, and that's a 25-coin roll. And look at that, sales of 6,950. And I imagine when Mike Unser wrote this, this number had, well, well actually, the website, these were unavailable at the time. So the next one in the third spot is the 2021 proof set. The fourth set, uh, actually the fourth spot on these is the 2021 uncirculated mint set. The number five spot is the 2021 Denver minted North Carolina American innovation at 5,872 rolls sold. After that, check this out. We've got the 2018S, that's the San Francisco proof American innovation dollar. And that is quite a few that have sold in that one week. That's incredible. So somebody's got their eye on these for sure, and they're bagging them. Um, next one here, number seven is 2021 Philadelphia Minted North Carolina in American Innovation 100 coin bags. And that's eight and nine position. That's Denver for the eighth position. Then check this out. And this is solid for the silver proof set, 2414, because we were in range of 13, 15, and 17 for quite a few months. Now, the last two weeks easily have seen 2400 and that's solid sales so kudos to the uh, silver proof set thought that was going to be pretty rough sales this year now the final position here is the 2019 american innovation dollar proof set and that's number 10 so it looks like seven of the 10 that's 70 percent to you and me are american innovation coins now i know that this is the end of the year and things are wrapping up and there isn't too much going on but things well i guess people are looking back and seeing opportunity and they see opportunity in these things right here now let's go down to this u.s mint sales and their numismatic products and check this out this are the morgan silver dollars and the um, o and cc privy mark and would you look at that an equal amount on that loss i imagine that would be probably the same people having that same loss what a bummer in the summer that must be and these numbers keep dropping off and i really would like to know whether or not the mint will be bringing these back up for sale and i know it does say remind me but you never know let's keep moving here it says the um i think the next one i wanted to talk about was the uh, but, but, but there's a clad there's the silver proof set strong sales there up a percent that's kind of solid um uncirculated sets look at this up four percent to six thousand three hundred and thirty six now with the mint sales of 159,000 and we're looking at I think I wrote this down 100 no that's not the right one darn it I think we're at about 205 to 208,000 United States mints on circulated sets this year the mint probably will be not making any more of these making it the lowest even lower than last year since 1959 folks so that's kind of a big deal um, next thing I want to talk about now, check this out. This is the proof and reverse proof silver eagles. This is the reverse proof set, right? Negative 24 sets, but look at this. That's the San Francisco proof type two. They lost 14,774 units. I mean, I don't even know what's going on. How did that even happen? And same thing with the W type two, lost 10,910 units. So what is going on there? 5% negative, 3% negative something's going on there folks i don't know what's happening maybe they're using those silver planchets for something else don't know can't tell you uh, i do uh, know that there i've heard that there is a 
silver planchet shortage. And I don't mean to sidetrack and squirrel, but look at this. I go to community tab, and if you scroll, scroll down just further enough here, far enough, it's about four days ago I posted something here from Wall Street Silver. Is there another silver planchet shortage? So you might want to check that out. So I believe something's going on with those silver planchets. Now, down here on the list, and this is going to get really interesting for the American intervention dollars. I mean, that's what I'm trying to go to here. And I'm not trying to go too fast so that you don't get dizzy. Now, here we are. We're at the 2021 American Innovation Dollars in North Carolina. Obviously, you know they can't tell you that there's going to be an increase or decrease because it's the first week. However, if we go here to the American Innovation Dollars for New York, we do know that some of them are still for sale. However, because the latest mint sales, well, let, let's face it, okay, what I'm trying to say is these numbers that we see here, um, this one's in remind me status, and these New York are very close to being remind me status, maybe 100 rolls left. Will the mint make more of these? Now, this is a huge gamble if you think about it. If you're investing or you want to sell these someday or flip them or maybe just collect them, we don't know, but I can tell you this. 2019 has three times the rolls as 2020 and 2021. Now, 2021 comes with an asterisk, okay? Because we know 2020 is come and gone, and they're not adding any more dollars, American innovation dollars to that. However, they could add more to the New York, Virginia, New Hampshire, and um, North Carolina rolls. Uh, but they're not adding any more, like I said, to the 2020 for, with September Clark. No more for the Maryland, no more for Massachusetts, and no more for Connecticut. Now, what they are selling lots of, and this and this was a shock to me when I found this out, and I'm going to show you on the numbers with the view page source. Now, we're at about 6,900 and about 7,500 here. So we're definitely over the limit of what's going on in 2020 and 2021. So let's check out the mint schedule. Let me see if I can find it here. This is the 2021. Okay, here we are in 2019, folks. And if you ever get, want to go to 2019 or any other year, you just go to the address bar and you see where it says 2021 or 2020 date. Just enter 2018, 2017, 2019, and so on and so forth. And you'll see the older Mint pages. And I don't know why they don't have links to those product pages, but that's okay. Now, off to Delaware. Let's look at the Delaware coin. Now, we know for uh, a fact that Delaware, wait, wrong direction, we know for a fact that Delaware here at the bottom of the list has sold 7,960 rolls from Philadelphia. Now, we're here we are at Delaware, and we look at the 25 coin roll from Philadelphia. Let's go ahead and do the view page source. Look at that, which 11,775 left over. Now, if you want to do the math, 11,000 plus 8,000, well, there you go. Three times the number. Three times. So, that begs the question. Will the 2020 and the 2021 be the least minted American innovation dollars of all the American innovation dollars? Or will we see a continuation of, um, I guess, I don't want to say attention, but let's face it. I mean, the way these American innovation dollars come out, if you go to 2019 schedule again, you're looking here. Look, the first one came out in 2019 in September. October, November, and December, right? It's kind of an afterthought at the Mint. These are not in the priority of what's going on at the Mint. And especially, it seems like this last year, these coins are not the priority. And that's why it seems like they're selling out quicker and they're not having 11,000 rolls added to these numbers. Now, could they? Absolutely, absolutely. And it, and it goes down um, the line for 2019. You know, it's not just... The Delaware, it's the Pennsylvania, it's got 11,000 rolls left. Uh, I can show you that here. Uh, this is the Pennsylvania, I think, if it does load. Um, and I'll show you the view of the page source. And that's loading 11,000 on that one. And this is the following one. I believe this is the um, New Jersey. And I believe that's a blank screen as well for New Jersey. 12,000 rolls. See, you're getting the point here. There's a tremendous amount of rolls left for 2019. However, 2020... And 2021, we need to pay attention to these mint numbers because they are not even close to what's going on the last few years, especially compared to 2018. That's even remarkable. Now, for my plus one today, because I've talked your ear off and enough jibber jabber, I'm going to go right there. So this is kind of a big deal and because everybody's working on something. 
uh, either working at getting better or getting worse at who they are, right? They're always working at something. There's no stasis for that. Uh, so instead of judging someone by their past, right, because every day is a new day and we have a chance to make it better every single day, stand by that person as they repair their future, right? Don't make them, don't help. And, and when you throw their past in their face, that's not cool. As long as, I would think as long as they're trying to do better every single day, we should always stand by them and help them make it better, you know? And and I think that's probably one of the biggest things we can do to help anybody is, is to help them become a better person, especially if they want to become a better person. Now, if they don't want to be, become a better person, well, I mean, that's on them and good luck with that. Anyway, folks, listen, I want to thank you all for watching today. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker, out.